Hi guys, welcome. In this video, we are given that y is 5x squared plus 3 to the power of 6. We are told to find the dy dx. To find the dy dx simply means we are going to differentiate the function of y with respect to x. Okay? But for us to differentiate this, we always need to expand this bracket into six places. That will take a very big time. So for us to do that, we just have to write that our y is given 5x squared plus 3 to the sixth power. Then the term in the middle term will now define it to be our u. So we can now say that u is equal to 5x squared plus 3. If u is this, then y can be written that y is equal to u to the sixth power. We have now done what we call the function of a function. And for us to differentiate this form, we know that our dy dx, differentiating y with respect to x, of this nature is differentiating u with respect to x and differentiating y with respect to u. So the first thing we are going to do is just to differentiate the u that we assign with respect to x and differentiate the y with respect to u. So when, for us to do that, our du dx, differentiating u with respect to x, first of all, let's differentiate this function. To differentiate 5x squared, we have to multiply the power 2 to the constant, then minus 1 from the power. So 5 times 2 is 10. So we have it as 10x, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 10x is the derivative. And differentiating a constant 3 gives 0. That's done. Then differentiating y with respect to u is the same thing as here we'll multiply the power to the constant 6 times 1 is 6. So we have it as 6 u will minus 1 from the new power. If you minus 1, you have it as 5. So here, we can now say that differentiating y with respect to x should be what? What is our du dx? Our du dx is 10x. We write it as 10x times, what is this? We have it as, what is our dy du? 6u to the what? Fifth power. Then, since we've gotten this, we'll now plug back the value of a y in the derivative. So for us to do that, we have it to be 6 times 10 is 60. We have it as 60x, then into 5x squared plus 3, the u to the power of 5. And this is the complete derivative of the given function above. Please like, comment, and share for more of this exciting mathematics content. See you next time. Bye.